There is something you must see. Carry your thinking machine to the place I sent you. I offer no set conclusions, but it is my belief that the Fallen dare plunder the Hellmouth's depth. They know the value in mastering the strange science of their enemy, be it Hive, Human, Vex, or Cabal. They risk much to steal pieces of understanding from us all, until that time when they no longer fear extinction, but inflict it. Eris, at the time, Together with Ariana III, sought vengeance upon Crota, and they formed a team of powerful guardians to aid in executing him. Vel Tarlo, Sai Moda, Omar Aga, and of course, the only one who could truly guide them, me. All of them. They passed through this canyon, naivete at their side, toward their inevitable doom. Before Crota's death, the Hive viewed the Fallen as nothing more than an annoyance. But now, as they struggle to regain their purpose, the Hive have no patience for distraction. This has led to a renewed conflict, as both fight to survive in the face of sustained Guardian aggression. In the quest to fell Crota, we brought with us the desire for vengeance. We brought ego. But with me, I brought curiosity, reverence, Fascination. And as such, here I sit, my soul still bound to existence. With the exception of Eris, I can't say the same for the rest. The pirates came in the wake of our collapse to pick at our bones. I have no answers as to whether it was bravery or desperation that drove them to scavenge at the edge of the Hive's most hallowed ground. But the Hellmouth has been rich in its bounty, and many fallen crews made a name among the old houses for the treasures stolen from this dead rock. In our own time of need, we failed ourselves. Crota struck us down en masse and destroyed much of what was built here, Moonbase included. The Traveler had come. It had brought us into a golden age. And yet little from that era mattered in the shadow of Crota. There were those who believed that at Crota, the end had come. From the moon base, they cried out for help. Their message beamed far and across the system. It would land with those who would not respond, deemed to be only affairs of the city. There was a crew of fallen who took to the Hive's sword logic. They are all dead now, by their own hands. They sought ascension, but understood nothing of its meaning. I watched as they slaughtered one another over the course of months. The last of them, with no crew left to lead, walked to Hellmouth's edge and cast himself into the depths. The House of Dusk is not the future of the Fallen, but it is a sign of their evolution, of a future yet to come. No 
longer the desperate fools clinging to a lost history and misguided faith in machines. I am curious as to what the Elixni will become on the far side of their current struggle. The Brays were here. How fine their avarice, how grand their hubris. Such great spirit echoes through time and space. It lives on long after any mortal form. Are they all gone? I wonder. We were destined to be found by this ageless expression. The pursuit of a last true shape. If not the hive, some other adherent. Slay every living disciple of sword logic, but the logic itself, as any hard-coded feature of the cosmos, will simply await rediscovery. Exploration and discovery are pleasant, but thin euphemisms for conquest. This was as true in our history as in any you'll find. Our first steps into the inky dark were no different. Lest we forget, the Hive's lunar settlements predate our own. You feel it, don't you? The hunger that cannot be sated. What's next? What if... Why? It eats at us what we don't know. It always has. Ignorance has never been bliss. Not once you've learned who lack the truth. Had the traveler not come to our fragile home, humanity would have carried on as it always had, reaching blindly in the dark. We likely would have extinguished ourselves well before the Hive took up the task. So I ask, are we fortunate or unfortunate? For millennia, humanity gazed at the moon and envisioned visiting it. Yet, no one dreamed it a trespass. The Hive is not a welcoming host. They told others their mission was exobotany, but this fig leaf could not hide their desire. They wanted knowledge the traveler would not give them. Nothing is sweeter than forbidden fruit. Exploration and discovery are pleasant but thin euphemisms for conquest. This was as true in our history as in any you'll find. Our first steps into the inky dark were no different. Lest we forget, the Hive's lunar settlements predate our own. Dark the moon, dark the night. Hush the station, hush the hive. Gone their leaders, gone. Before we could leap from planet to planet like fleas, we had to crawl through the void like worms. The accelerator flew humanity's necessities on swift wings. Letting them from the moon to the colony like starlings. But worms do not survive flights with birds. In the hive, the vanguard faced a new threat they didn't understand. So they did what they do best. They shot at it. And to their detriment, it shot back. Death was delivered.
the day of our great disaster. Not even Crota's brood could fully contain the rage of Bogoth the Untamed. His power was nearly unmatched. But in the end, the light overpowered Fogoth, and he was slain at the will of guardians just like yourself. Fools look at the hive and see mindlessness, but they bear deep wounds, and they do not forget those who wounded them. Crota, Oryx, Omnigal, each death shook the Hellmouth to the deepest pit. But as we say, that which doesn't kill you, etc. Just ask Hashladun, or her slaughtered sisters. Countless guardians perished, not just on the battlefields of the great disaster, but within the lair of the Hive as well. Having lured them in, the Hive had a plan. It was domination and death. For Guardians, there was no escape that day. The moon is fragile, even more so now than before. Look no further than the oozing schisms brought forth by the pyramid. May they serve as a warning. The moon has been carved out far beyond imagination. Fetid miasma rises. It belongs to the hive now. Omar Aga entered these depths with his own unique faults. Disbelief and distrust. But beneath it all was his truth. Fear. The Hive fed off this very fear. Poor Eris had to watch as his light was stripped from his soul. And his essence used to strengthen the Hive. A series of unfortunate guardians met their end under the weight of Fogoth's might. He strew them across the battlefields of the moon, and together with Crota's brood, gave the great disaster its name. Behold, causation in all its exquisite majesty. Your persistence reshapes the hidden swarm. In turn, the swarm reshapes the moon. Their adaptations will only become more profound, the effects more pronounced. They have you to thank for this. The Hellmouth, the foundry of Crota's deepest dream. Voices reverberate through the lunar formicary. Heresies whispered in the dark. Below your feet, the hidden swarm are acquainting themselves with deeper magics beyond their reckoning. To say nothing of ours. The fissures appeared when the pyramid stirred. They quake and belch, setting loose the potent energies that have long simmered just below. Should they be allowed to continue, the hidden swarm will make further outgambles to the surface. This is but a taste of the change to come. 